we want to learn about some of the people that paid an extreme price for us to be here today. This story happened a long time ago, back in the early 1800s. There was a country called Great Britain, the most powerful country in the world at that time. They had the best navy and the best army. They felt they had the best form of government, and they felt it was their duty to lead our country and take care of everything for us, but not let us be free. Well, we've got a problem with that in America. Because Americans don't like to be told what to do by some other country. And if you pick a fight with America, you are going to pay a price. But somebody has to go and pay that price. Somebody has to be strong enough, brave enough, and committed enough to pay that price so you and me can be free, safe, here today on this beautiful ground. Practice football, softball, learn about life. Let's learn about some people that gave theirs for us. There's a fort called Fort McHenry, Baltimore Harbor. British held some of our American citizens on that ship as prisoners of war. We had some British soldiers as well. A lawyer, Francis Scott Key, went to that ship to negotiate an exchange. We'll give you your prisoners, you give us our American citizens back. The Admiral decided that yes, we'll do that. Sounds like a good plan. So Francis Scott Key went below decks and talked to our prisoners, our citizens that were in chains down below. He said, hey men, keep the faith, we're getting you out of here. He went back up on top of the deck. The Admiral said, wait a minute, come here, I got some news for you. See that fort over there? We're going to bomb it into submission. We're going to fire every one of our cannons off of these ships and tear that fort down. And you see that flag flying up there? We're going to knock that flag down. And you all are going to be our servants. Francis Scott Key said to him, Admiral, you can't do that. There's little kids over there. There's moms, dads, little kids. Thank you.